Archaeologists have long debated just how Native Americans in what is now New Mexico equated heavenly movements with the seasons. Even though there are no written records, archaeologists knew of stories handed down over many generations. But were they just fanciful tales? Or in their roots, was there truth? Historian Dave Townsend. Scholarly obligation is to try to bring as many sources as you can to bear on a particular point. In September 1977, archaeologist Pete Eidenbach helped decode the first prehistoric observatory in the Sacramento Mountains. The site, known as Wizard's Roost, is at 10,363 feet altitude in Lincoln County on a high ridge opposite Sierra Blanca Peak. This rock feature, what I think of as kind of an above-ground rock foxhole, enough space for one person to spend the night. I I have often envisioned it as an elder with assistance from some younger men growing up there. This elder could peek out at dawn and view the alignment, use it as a way to calibrate their calendar. In December 1977, on the winter solstice, Eidenbach sat in the structure built between 100 BC and 900 AD and watched the setting sun descend towards Sierra Blanca Peak. Knowing when the solstices are is an essential tool for timing agriculture. And this was an agricultural society that built these features. In this region, particularly with the length of time it takes for the aboriginal corn to mature, you've got to get it in the ground to take advantage of the monsoon rains. If you don't get it in the ground soon enough, you're liable to lose part of your crop to an early frost. Eidenbach believes the builders were late archaic early mogions transitioning from a hunting and gathering society to a full sedentary agricultural village life.